act as well, Dominus. Sanctify the machine spirits of those atmospheric purifiers quickly, and do your best to return unharmed. We must sanctify the atmospheric purifiers scattered. How's it going, guys? So. On this mission, we have opted for the Apothecary, the Aversa Assassin, the Interceptor, and the Justicar to escort Lunette, who is not too impressed with being on the ground out of the Edict. I mean, it's certainly dangerous for her, but I believe this mission is timed to some extent. It's one of those timed things. Um, I think the Bloom randomly infects the purifies as the mission goes on and then once it's infected them you have limited time to get there with Lunette. Therefore I've chosen a melee approach so we can just rush down the enemy and you know beat them up up close. Oh that's annoying. Because we're miles away. Enemies have entered sight range. Right. So we've got a crack grenade dude here. I would really rather disable the ranged weapon of these two. It's a bit awkward how they set this up though actually. And the fact that my intercept is so far back really doesn't help. I think we might just move up for one turn, let them come at me. The downside will be that I'm gonna get hit by this guy with his um with his crack grenade, aren't I? Kind of inevitably. But only the Justicar is really affected by that. I think I could quite safely send him down this way. He's got that amazing warding stave that gives him all of his shields at the end of the turn. So even if I get hit by the Reaper Cannon, I should be fine. I'm just going to shoot off a couple of Eradication Rays onto this machine to burn it. Start stacking up some burn. And then run away. I want to disable the guns of the other two guys at the back. Is that a Bal Spewer? I think it is, isn't it? Which is... Bal Spewers are not very concerning. Yeah, it is. Just want to disable his gun, mostly. Um, Aversa Assassin. Yeah, we can move him over to here. It's in full cover. Should be fine. Oh, the Apothecary's in Terminator armor as well, so he's actually a little bit vulnerable to a crack grenade. I'm going to position him over here. I want him to throw his crack grenade at my Interceptor or my Aversa. That would be basically ideal. I only have 17 HP on the Interceptor, which really doesn't seem like a lot. Do we just move here? Yeah, sod it. 17 HP should be enough. I don't think they'll do crazy amounts to us. But let's see. That guy just charged his own dude, didn't he? Do they get to attack again? I w wasn't sure really how these things work. Why is nothing happening? Hello? Is this thing bugged? Oh dear. Okay, I'll be back with you guys when this is not bugged. Alright, well, it completely frozen after that, so we're actually just going to completely start the mission again. And this time we're going to advance a lot more slowly. So that we can actually have everyone together before we trigger that enemy patrol. Then we might just be able to attack them straight away. 
Like the Aversa Assassin, I want him in a position where the Apothecary can just instantly pump him up with more, more stuff. For example... Hmm... If we send the Apo through there, put the Versa Assassin in front of him, give him the warp speed, and then he can go charging in. And the Interceptor can do something similar. There they are. We shall claim victory with blood. This time, because we're all really far forward, we can be very aggressive to them. So the crack grenade one's at the back here, so this is the one we need to kill immediately. The other ones we can shut down the guns on. Oh, this is actually Initiating pretty convenient. We can get in cover here. Activate Chant of the Remorseless Fist and shut down their guns. Your flesh Yeah, then we'll shoot this guy. Pretty good. Warp speed on you. Now, unfortunately, we don't have an upgraded weapon yet for this dude, so he's still not doing tremendous amounts of damage. But these guys have the guns disabled, so I'm not too bothered. So let's friends on and get behind him. Then we're going to lose even more HP in order to get another AP. Move close to them, hit them in melee, inflict even more bleed. Hit him again. Actually, I just realized I don't need to use the Eviscerate now, do I? Because I've got this sword that's 100% parry, so we'll kill him instantly next time. Yeah. So that's fine. My blade is yours. Now we teleport in and try and kill this thing, I believe. Uh, ten armor's quite a lot, but... Yeah, it should be fine. Oh, he propped the extra AP, beautiful. Target is knocked back, causing an area 2 blast, dealing 4 damage. Um... Does it matter? Well, go on then. Oh my god, that was more than an... What the fuck? That was massive knockback. Jesus Christ. Oh, that just pushed him out as well. Oh, f that's terrible. That was awful. What the hell was that? That was ridiculous. Um, Might need to use teleport strike, which is not ideal. To not have them get another attack here for free. What a joke. 
Okay, we will not be doing that again then. Oh, that'll be the perfect amount to let him get the kill with the support fire. Brilliant. Can't really kill this guy, though. Oh, we probably can with the honor of the chapter, actually. Yeah, we definitely can with honor of the chapter. Alright, that's fine. We just It didn't really take any HP off of us here, but it just took a lot of willpower. Shoot him in the face, get some support fire, and then I can shoot again with the interceptor as well. And he can't shoot his weapon because he's got the the debuff from the tech priest. We've not really fought the Nurgle lawnmowers much yet, so I didn't really know what the hell that was going to do. I didn't expect it to send it flying that far. I, I thought from what I read it would only knock it back Ready. two spaces. Clearly I read that incorrectly. We'll let the Aversa get the kill here because that will heal him. And to be fair, he needs the XP as well. Yes. Lovely. Okay, let's keep moving. So, go purify that. Sensors detect movement ahead. All right, they're going in a different direction. Do not lose free atmospheric purifiers. Where are the rest of them? They're all over the place, man. Wait, what? Is that one right there? But... Eh? I don't get it. I've still got my fucking warp speed. Jeez. Wow, there's these, these purifiers are friggin' everywhere. Well, we'll go through the middle then, I guess. The problem is that Lunette can only be in so many places at once. Ultimately, it's up to her to sanctify these things. No one else can do it, I don't think. That's why we've got her out of the ship for a change. So another patrol over there. Wow, I can actually reach this. That's insane. Yeah, the movement on the Averse is pretty crazy. Another lawnmower. Fucking chaos lawnmowers. What's my range on this thing? Pretty good. Go extract those seeds. I don't know if we particularly need purple seeds, but why not? Seed. Your query? Yeah, I guess Lunet could go up here. That probably works, doesn't it? This is still on cooldown, mind you. Let's have her take some high ground over here and start shooting down at them. Ooh, another enemies. patrol and it's heading in this direction. Fair enough. Why is this not doing any damage, by the way? Partial full cover. I see. That's fine. I mean, you get the burn, don't you, so it's still... Pretty valuable. 
Um, yeah, the fucking crack, man. I hate these crack grenade ones. They're so annoying. Don't really fancy this. Needler. So this inflict afflicts bleed. Seems like a good idea. Standing near all these explosives is pretty sus, given the um, the crack grenades. So we're just going to take cover over there. You... Honestly, I don't even know what to do with you. Because I'm going to eat fucking crack grenades for sure, aren't I? There's, there's no way to even prevent it. It's really a nightmare. I might just accept it. What's the blast radius on this thing? So that shouldn't hit me if I'm there. So let's move over here and enter Aegis. Six bleed per turn. Um No, I'm not I'm not gonna accept it, I'm gonna move back here. A little concerned about her being so far forward now though. Okay, that's cool. Cool story, bro. So apparently I was in range of that thing. Brilliant. Of course I was. Ow. Hey, return fire. Ow. It's okay, I'm not going to use any more range attacks in my versus, so blind him as much as you like. Uh, actually, Lunette being up here is not great, is it? Oh no, it's fine. Yeah, she can jump down. I wasn't sure if she'd be able to jump down or not. But she can. Let's have her do that. Right, so I want you to go in and you're going to eviscerate. Oh, that doesn't kill. Literally one off. Are you taking the piss? Yeah. It's kind of lame. And you can't hit him in the side either. Really? Wow, that's sad. Hmm. In that case, I want to... I want to go here and activate... Warp, si uh, warp speed again. I always want to call it warp seed because everything's all about seeds in this game. Then I'm gonna. No, I'm not gonna shoot this fool because I can't reach him apparently. What a joke! What a joke! Well, Lunette, why don't you just? I oh, know, chant of the remorseless machine is a uh, remorseless fist is still offline. <sighs> I can incapacitate this guy and reduce the stun gauge by quite a huge amount. Without a doubt with this guy we want to teleport next to this fool and chop him up. That's a given.
then probably move on to the lawnmower afterwards. that his ability that we just disabled or what? What did we disable? It's like we disabled nothing. My I'm just going to have to triple chop him uh Well, I suppose I could leave him for another turn. He'll die to my next thing. I have ammo as well. This guy's got 9 HP. I don't think I can kill him with a cyborg. Yeah, if I yeah, if I use actually cyborg, I will kill him. Just okay, fair enough. Now Lunex can come in and incapacitate the Terminator. Assuming he doesn't have resistance, he does have resistance. Oh god, but he won't one shot, will he? Even if I fail this five damage, Lunex will be fine. We'll we'll give it a go. Come on, Lunette, do your magic. magic he resisted. Beautiful. Of course he did. I can technically get into melee over here. I could use Quicksilver. Kill him with the apothecary. I'm not sure how valuable that would be. Uh, it probably would be quite valuable, wouldn't it? Can I even kill him with the apothecary? He's in Terminator armor, so I don't know if he can jump up there. So he'd have to go one, two, three. I think I'd, I'd just stun him, wouldn't I? Oh my god. This is a pain in the ass, man. Just let him chop Lunette, whatever. Five damage to her, she'll be fine. She'll live. As if he resisted, though. Minor damage sustained. Okay, I see. Unleash me. Ready. Yeah, let's get the kill with the Aversa, and then we can yes, yes, yes. heal up all the way to full. So we can see that the Bloom has infected one of these purifiers now, and when that happens... Wait, did everyone just get... Oh no, everyone just got the AP back because we finished off the enemies. I see. So that's when the timer triggers, but not only does the timer trigger when the purifier gets infected, but also it apparently calls down an enemy, I'm assuming? I'm assuming that's what that is? 
So we'll just get into range to slot these guys when they come out. Give me a target. Yeah, I need to I need to heal this guy, so hang on, let's get him a bit closer. I want to save the AP on the Apothecary here so we can overwatch whatever's coming out of that portal. There you go, back to full HP. I mean, the Interceptor will be wounded, so that's kind of lame, but what can you do? So there's a cache over there. Um, where are the rest of these purifiers? There's one, one over there, one over there. Oh, and then the others are all the way over here. Holy shit, they're miles off. All right, now that's activated. That wasn't activated before, though, was it? Interesting. Whatever. They're good, they're good at avoiding Overwatch, aren't they? I need to, like, split up my Overwatch, I think, in future. Oh, you're taking the piss. They're attacking straight away. What the fuck was that? What the hell was that? Why are they getting to attack straight away? What on earth? My man just threw out a fucking crack grenade. Unfortunately, it hit the wall. But that's ridiculous. Okay, then. Um... You can just run into melee straight away. Yes. Also... Yeah, we can do some good damage over here. Very nice. It's an easy kill for the Interceptor. Easy. We can get you moving straight away over to there. Must I? Which seems like a good idea. Uh, let me heal her before I forget. Who has servo skulls? You do. Ah, oh, they're not within range. Are you taking the piss? <laughs> I love how he just leaped over my grey knight. That's pretty cool. So we can immediately give ourselves another AP, because the 2 HP doesn't matter because we're literally going to kill this guy and get the HP back. Lead. Die. Lovely. This guy's got a lot of armor. Friggin' loads of armor. But the combination of the just car and the interceptor should be sufficient here. Yeah, I am gonna have to teleport, but what can you do? What can you do? I might actually not be able to kill him. Oh, it's fine. We just got the extra AP roll when we teleport. So he's dead. Goodbye, my friend. Oh, I should have moved the apothecary up. Whoops. Then I would have had extra movement range on him. Yeah, heal Luna. Minor repairs completed. Keep going. Any patrols up here? Apparently not. Good. I'm gonna send the... No, I'm gonna send the Interceptor over that way. To go grab that Archaeotech.
Where is it? Yeah, it's right, right there, isn't it? Nice. Extra two Archaea tech. Sure, we'll take that. It's free! Comms off. Ready for battle. Well, via left, I guess. Um, I don't think it's... A, do not lose free atmospheric purifiers. Yeah, oh, that's fine. Yeah, we've done that easy then. Even if we... We might lose one. If it procs on the right, because we're going down the left. But that's not a big deal at this point. Because I just need to not lose free. We could send the Aversa up this way, actually, and start bleeding the enemy before we engage them. Yeah, they're over there. 12 range with the Executioner. Let's see if we can sight them. Yeah, we can. So we've got a... a light hauler. Oh, and a couple of Terminators. Awkward. don't like the Terminators. They're annoying to deal with. The Blight Hauler, a lot less so. You can't bleed the Blight Hauler though, unfortunately, because it is a machine. The dumbs. Uh, it doesn't really look like I can do a whole lot here. They've, they've done a good job taking cover. So what will I do? Might... Let's hang on, let's rotate our camera here to see where the cover is. So... Honestly, there's not a whole lot of relevant cover for me. I don't want to get that close to him. Hmm. Probably best off just going over here, right? They're not going to be able to hit us, are they? We've got this high ground. No, I don't think so. Gonna do it. God, the movement range on him is insane. Speedy boy for sure. I can disable the guns as well with Lunette. So I think we're in a pretty solid situation here. Not really particularly worried. I don't know if the mission ends immediately upon sanctifying the fourth pur uh, purifier as well. It's kind of a good question. My blade is yours. Not sure about the range on those Reaper auto cannons. I don't want two of them hitting my interceptor, so I'll put him a little bit behind cover there. And then the chant isn't quite in range. I don't think they can... Well, I suppose they could walk over here and shoot me across this way, so probably is a good idea to keep Lunette in cover. Yeah. Great. I mean, Melter hitting the Aversa is lovely because he doesn't have any armor. So it feels like a waste of the Melter. Alright, apparently you can just stand right there and shoot the shit out of me. That's annoying. Okay, so that's overwhelmed. Well, we're obviously not going to get over there, are we? But that's fine.
Why could I not, like, land anywhere? I guess because I can't see it. Seems a bit weird. Um. All right, hold on. So, what about the interceptor? Oh God. He's kind of limited by this as well. In an oh well, that'll give us sight. Where, where's the other terminator gone? Is he hiding down here? What is he doing? Bizarre. Anyway, we can kill this thing instantly. Oh. And we still can't even see the other fucking thing. The other Terminator. Yes. Whatever. We're just gonna bully this guy. As best as we can. I mean, he's pretty bloody tanky, isn't he? I mean, the Aversa should be able to get free attacks off. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, we want to take the, the seed. I could have just used my extractor, though, actually. I'll bring him down to free HP with the support fire. Yeah, and then the Averse can finish him off and get a nice fat amount of XP and heal. Very nice. Yeah, sanctify it. We done? Sanctified and the technophage is receding. Return me to my ship at once. Easy. Alright. Yeah, that was easy. That was really easy. When it doesn't bug out on us at the start. Cool. So I don't know how many requisitions we got for that, but I feel like we're going to be getting quite a few right now. Obviously, the real advantage to doing these missions that is that it means we can upgrade our Dreadnought and our Tech Marines with even better kit. We'll get a little bit of Archaeotech to accommodate that. Plus three requisitions and plus two Archaeotech, and then we found two. So plus four in total. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And she didn't get wounded either, which is beautiful. I was worried that she would, and our construction costs would go up. So I'm very glad that that didn't happen. Uh, activate to uh, activate to add two damage to the warp charge version. Now you're all right. I don't really care about that. Oh, a war gear slot I actually is pretty good in this guy. Guaranteed crit is also pretty good, but it's quite willpower intensive. Two willpower. The Knight's melee attacks passively gain extra crit chance. Okay. Yep. Yep, you need to go for this series of uh, buffs over here, for sure. It's a shame, because this would be good, but we don't have a good war gear slot yet, anyway. I think we will find some better upgrades soon, because I think I have just unlocked tier 2. The other option would be to start getting some of these willpowers, but it's fine. If I go for this anyway, I'll get plus two. It's not that important. Seven is sufficient for now, I think. I'm just going to go over here and try to head up to this. Hammerhand will be nice in a pinch. I don't feel like it's super important. Oh, we've got another bleed thing here as well. So not only is it a guaranteed crit, but it also causes bleed free. Interesting. Yeah, they've added a lot of bleed, haven't they? We've got a promotion here on our Aversa. Friends on Sims gains plus free range. Very nice. Oh, and the Neuro Gauntlet is now no longer has an AP cost. Hmm. Well, I mean, that will help when he charges into the middle of shitloads of enemies. 
Bit annoying for your reverse or assassin to get wounded. I feel like him having lower max HP is really, really detrimental to him. But what can you do? Wait, so we just got a new excavation site? Oh my god, you're gonna have infinite Archaeotech, man. The fuck? You literally have infinite. Yeah, that's crazy. That's mad. Oh, I've got a spare prognostic card that I forgot to attune. Oh, well, I'll check that in a second. I need to check where exactly um, you can attune them to. Well, we got there really quick. I guess it was right next to us, wasn't it? All right, hold on. I've got my little guide for the prognosticars here. So we have prognosticars on Almeric and Yazim. We need one on Urtet, which is where exactly? Down here somewhere. We need no. We need yeah. We need that. We need Calafor. So let, let's do that. Calafor. Bingo. So this location is uncovered. And the other location that you can never cover with this layout is here. But everything else gets filled up. So I've got you, you, and then I need boom, boom, here. And that does do, 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 do. And then you need... Uh, something over this way. I think you get two more anyway. So what, do you just put one here? Boom, boom, boom. And then you have one... I don't know. No, you have that there anyway. Oh, that covers that. Oh yeah, so you just need that. And that. And then it covers literally everything except... Here. And... Here. Okay, cool. Whatever. Now this should be relatively easy, this is just a seed carrier mission for which there's not really any good upgrades. The question is, do we want to try and win it without using willpower? I think uh, if we bring a couple of assassins that might actually be viable. The only downside is that the Aversa assassin is currently injured. But it is only a seed carrier mission. It's possible, possible, possible. Could take this opportunity to get the Calidus Assassin. When is the next Grandmaster report? Oh my god, it's miles away. 54 days. Well, yeah, that's that's pretty good then. Probably an opportune time to get the Calidus and try and win this mission without using willpower. I'm trying to think who else would be a good who would be a good grey knight? To not use willpower, probably the tech marine. They don't use a lot of willpower. Definitely not the librarian. Probably the tech marine and um, purgator with like silences could be decent. Calexus you can't use because the damage output shit without willpower. Would I want to risk bringing a Calidus Assassin that's potentially very low level? Yeah, they're only going to be level 3. Hmm. It could be okay. Purgator. Spect out with grenades. Grenades don't cost willpower. Tech Marine. Vindicare. And a Calidus. I mean, that actually sounds alright, to be honest. I just wish my Aversa did more damage. 
I really must get the upgraded melee weapon on him soon. We could do that now, instead of getting the Kalidus. He's only got light wounds, so he's still got 16 HP. Get him this thing here. Do we have the red seeds to upgrade that weapon? Let's have a look. Where's my seeds? Where the hell are my seeds? Can I check it? Check it here, right? No, we don't. We don't have the seeds. All right, forget it. No, we're gonna get we're gonna get a Kalidus assassin. I think it should be a relatively easy mission anyway. It's just a seed mission. Oh, nice. Just got the achievement for all the assassins. Kalidus. So let's have a look at the lovely Kalidus. I know this lady can be pretty fearsome. She's obviously a melee fighter like the Aversa, but she's more of a rogue melee fighter. You'll see she's got a lot less HP, only 9 HP. But her attacks just completely ignore armor. I mean, Face Sword is basically a fucking lightsaber. Even the Neural Shredder ignores armor, and that's an AOE pistol. So she's pretty spicy in that regard. What's she got here? Polymorphine's really cool. So you can activate this literally every two turns. It makes her invisible. The enemies, well, she's turning into a an enemy basically, so they don't attack her. You can use this to scout the map. You've got a, a free attack here. Um, target an enemy, range seven, deal two damage and plus one stun, armor piercing. When she executes a unit, she will gain AP, not just your gray knights, so that's cool. When this unit kills an enemy, all of its ability cooldowns go down by one. Activate a blast over area four to afflict range disable. Quite a long cooldown on that one, but nonetheless, pretty good. So that's like an AoE around her. So it's how you initiate a fight out of polymorphine. Instantly disable all the ranged weapons and then just start dicing them up. The unit's death strike gains plus one damage. What is death strike then? Death strike. I don't know what that is. Is that a the upgraded version? The, the alt version of Fierce Sword? Where's Death Strike? I don't see that. Gauge vulnerabilities, target an enemy, range 10 to make them vulnerable. Where the fuck's Death Strike? Here it is, yeah it is, it's the alternative. Oh, it's not even an alternative, it's just another like upgraded movement, but you can only use it every 5 turns. So activate to add 2 damage to this melee attack, no stun, okay. Fair enough, man. So many things to get. Holy shit. Madness. Alright, uh, war gear wise, we're just going to take a Medicaid servo score, because I believe we're going to be a little bit lacking on that with this squad. Yes, we're going to try this without using willpower. So we're going to take the Vindicare and the Calidus and our weaker Tech Marine. And we're going to take a ranged Purgation. Well, we're actually going to take this guy with the, the uh, nice frag grenades. Because he's specced out over here. Now, we don't have Astral Aim, but I'm going to give him a silencer anyway because we wouldn't be able to use Astral Aim because it's, um, you know, willpower. So, in terms of ranged weaponry... Yeah, just take this. It's fine. Now, we can give him a better piece of power armor as well for the extra servo skulls. Yes, please. We'll have that. That's pretty cool. So now he gets free medical server skulls, free frag grenades. He's got his silencer so he can do some nice long range damage for us along with the Vindicare. Unfortunately we don't have an upgraded rifle for the Vindicare, I really need to work on that. I want to get the rifle that does extra damage to organics, 7 damage to organics. That will be pretty dope actually. Um, otherwise medical skull, yep that's fine. We've got a new pistol for the Vindicare. So it's now got a 50% chance to immobilize people when he shoots them. 
and it's slightly longer range and it's got crit chance and crit damage as well which is cool. I think one of the cool side effects of this thing was that it increases all of our focus so now the autos are even higher chance. Yes, 75% chance when I kill someone with a pistol to get one AP. Beautiful. And then in terms of the Servitor, not the Servitor, the uh, Tech Marine, basically got all the upgrades for him that we want right now anyway. Could get more range on this, but I don't really care, to be honest. I'm hoping soon we'll unlock more, more kit. Because I'd like to get some better servitors. This unit gains an extra servitor slot. Um, we could technically afford that. Yeah, go on, let's grab that. Bingo. Now we can take an extra servitor. So we'll take the... Uh, what will we take here, actually? Armor brick by four. Yeah, the heavy bolter is probably pretty good. When well, we've got a nice ranged comp like this. And we're in the prognostica zone as well, so we've got really nice things here. Uh, 2 AP, immobilize enemies, and heal an ally. Yeah, that's fine. We don't want the night buff ones because, you know, um, we don't want the night buff ones because we don't have all the knights. We've got half knights, half assassins right now. Now, I think normally I wouldn't commentate these missions, these low corruption seed missions. But I am gonna for this one, just because it's the first time we're getting to use the Calidus Assassin. Hopefully it goes alright. I've gotta try and remember not to use willpower. That might be quite difficult. It's very intuitive. Though literally I've chosen knights that don't even have really any decent willpower abilities. My lower level tech marine, I don't think has the flamethrower yet, which is the main willpower drain on your tech marine or giving shields to your servitors but who cares, if the servitors die they die, not a big deal but yeah, this is a nice easy mission layout because it's just linear and linear mission layouts are always the easiest because it means you can't get hit by multiple pods at once Ready. So here she is. Looking nice and fierce. We're going to activate that polymorphine. Nice and fast. And go in and scout. So yeah, she ends up looking like a pox walker. That actually costs an AP, which is a bit weird. I'm shocked at that. So certain abilities will get rid of the polymorph certain abilities will not they got a lot of uh, seed carriers haven't they actually so we've got heavy bolter multi melter and a plasma cannon servitor here so a lot of range potential if we need it yeah and that didn't trigger them that's fine I don't really want to trigger them straight away I'm in position with her. See, she gets into position, she can just shut down all of their ranged attacks, and it's pretty beautiful. So, what actually cancels polymorphine? Why would you deactivate it? Shooting with the neural shredder does. I think. Okay, gauge vulnerabilities does not. Nor does the medical skull. So your abilities don't. Hmm. 
But when you decide to come out and attack, that does. Which is fair enough, I guess. On my way. So yeah, she can just stand right next to them, which is pretty dope. Now the Servitor spots them. Do we get all of our movement back? Wow, she does her auto attack? What the fuck? That's crazy. She even gets her auto attack off. Oh my god. This is awesome. She's amazing. Well, you're screwed, mate. What's this, anyway? Plague Champion and a Noxious Blightbringer. What? We haven't seen Plague Champions yet, have we? What the hell gun is that? Oh, that's a plasma pistol. Oh yeah, it's just weird. Plasma pistol and a power fist. Deals 8 damage up close. Yeah, we don't want to get anywhere near no power fist. Screw that. Endure rod. A target a blast area gives hardened to allies. No, all enemies gain hardened. What? What does that mean? Oh yeah, his allies, our enemies. So he can give out buffs and he's just a, a really tanky boy. We can slay this guy instantly. Wow. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see what we want, how we want to deal with this. I am an instrument of vengeance. So we want to get the multi-melter in range. Can I just knock him off the edge of the map? Is that the edge of the map right there? Let's find out. Pop. Oh, it knocked the other guy off the edge. I wasn't expecting that. Lol. Okay, well that's brilliant. Yeah, the knockback from the plasma cannon, very, very helpful. The Kalidus can just slay that fucker. I'm just going to move all the rest of the guys up. So their movement isn't wasted. Go for it, baby girl. Just ignoring the shields is so beautiful. So her polymorphine's gone for another turn. Yes, come on. Bloody Pergator didn't even get a chance to shoot. Well, not did the Vindicare actually. high amount of enemies here, is there? I can tell it's a low corruption mission, Jesus. I mean, that arm, I've got to admit, it's looking very slaneshy. Not very Nurgle. Is that another champion? Yeah. I could, if I want, just assassinate him with a Vindicare, but I don't know if that's worth it. Probably just take his arm off. A crippling shot. I don't really fear a bile spewer either. Right, hold on. What we'll do is move you up a bit. Send in the multi melter. 
we can have the heavy ball to set up a nice overwatch. Uh, it's kind of impossible to cover the plague bearer coming down this way and this way. But I guess it doesn't matter that much. Well, I guess I could put him here. No, it's not going to reach if he comes down this way. Boo. Why does it keep resetting that? I guess I can just move the heavy bolter even further forward, right? Just put it like here. Let's use the rest of our attacks first. So, multi melter. Yeah, you get in range. Vindicare, knock this guy's bloody arm off. Because we don't want him shooting us with that very deadly plasma pistol. We want them to have to come to us and try and attack us in melee. Because we know they're going to struggle at that. Oh, there's a good chance to inflict uh, immobilize here. Yeah, that would be pretty juicy, actually. Let's see if we can immobilize the plague bearer. No, I don't think we got that. We didn't. I nearly killed the fucking guy, though. This is a long ranged attack, isn't it? Jeez. Armor piercing and ignores half cover. She's so squishy though. Not having polymorphine right now is... That really doesn't feel very good. Let's move you forward. Do we want to do some sort of grenade attack, maybe? Maybe. Yeah, go on. Chuck a nade in, he's got loads of them. He's got two more even after this. Boom. Did that get him? Yeah, it did. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Uh, we can attack... Tech Marine will get the kill here. Yeah, go on then. Oh, apparently not. Maybe we can get the kill with the Vindica. 75% chance for more AP. Of course we get it. And we can even shoot him from this range. I don't know how I'm able to shoot him, to be honest, but sure. No immobilization, what the fuck? What's that all about? Why no immobilization? And we can set up the heavy bolter in this direction. Basically, no matter where he goes. Whoops. No matter where he goes, he's going to get pinned by that. So he can run forward and start bullying my servitors, but, you know, whatever. Let him do that. That's fine. Other than that, we're just going to end our turn. I can't heal the servitors, though. Oh, he didn't even go into melee. I can't heal them because that used his willpower. I am here to serve. Let's just weaken him with a purgator and get the kill with the Calidus. Because we obviously want to train her up. Just a voice standing in that plague there. So I move to this side. Oh, there you go. Yep. Easy kill. Easy XP. Now she's got her polymorphine back. Certainly. 
she can go move in ahead of everyone else and scout the enemy. Very cool. No sight of them. the servitors are immune to the plague, I didn't know that. Moving away from us anyway. Taking position. Purity. Taking cover. Targets marked for elimination. Okay. Don't have any line of sight of any of these fuckers. No one particularly scary though, it's just bolters and a bar spewer. None of that melter nonsense, that's good. Uh could move over here, it's only half cover though. But apparently we'll have line of sight with this dude. Apparently. No, we don't, he's in full cover. have to like move around here and things are getting a bit sus uh i guess we could oh i didn't even notice this was a thing here what the fuck I'll walk over this way all right i mean i can take his arm off can't i though who's this guy is this the spewer he is so he's a mile away oh well that's pretty safe then if i walk around here take this guy's arm off precision target locked in Pop. I love that ability from the Vindicare. I mean, we've not even used Deadshot yet, for Christ's sake. Kind of ridiculous. So as long as I stand next to them, she can hit them when they move, but it doesn't actually cancel polymorph fists, or whatever you call it, it would appear. Uh, Pergator, where do we want to send him? Yeah, just go take that, that's fine. Let them do whatever they got to do. Um, I don't think I can actually shoot anyone from here. No, not really. Nah. I was gonna say I could use this, but no, I can't because I'm trying to win this without using willpower. That's yes, the whole point. Yeah, big dum dum. So the heavy bolter can just overwatch here if this guy wants to run down and try and melee the Vindicare. And that's basically it. Yeah, I'm just gonna advance around the side here, stay in cover. So he's going to buff up his mate 
Whatever. Okay. Wow, that was pretty sweet, actually. He shot twice. Well, three times, in fact. Yeah, Heavy Butler, pretty nice there. Because it's got an infinite ranged auto. Interesting. Plasma cannon time. <laughs> Just completely yeets that fella. Love it. Love it. Ah, mobilized him this time. Can't get around to this guy though, rather annoyingly. This guy's got so much health, thanks, thanks to that Plague Surgeon. How are we going to do this? Let's think. Do we just run in and melee you with the Tech Marine? Maybe. Yeah, probably. The Plague Surgeon is not very fearsome. Kind of annoying that I don't have line of sight to hit him with the Vindy. And I can't really get it unless I go up there. Uh, yeah. I think I'll just run down this way. This seems like a good spot for the for the Vindicare to be fighting basically everything anyway. Of course he gets more AP. As you will. And now you two should be able to deal with this guy, I would hope. Can he shoot whilst in melee? Ah, it doesn't matter, just kill him with death strike. There you go. Brilliant. He's just gonna shoot with a bolt pistol into the servitor. Absolutely brilliant. Well done, Plague Surgeon. Yeah, the buffs on the Plague Surgeon are strong, but you know, as a combat fighter he's obviously shit. It's basically an apothecary. Really, I can't hit from here. Seriously. Um, why don't we move the plasma cannon servitor and have him shoot behind this fool? I actually would like the plasma cannon servitor to blow up that thing as well while we're at it. If it can, that'd be lovely. Oh, I did blow it up. Oh well. I'm just going to chop this guy up now. I am his Easy kill for the Calidus. Ready. 
kind of awkward positioning here for the Vindicare. Let's just move these guys up at the back. I don't want it to trigger whilst they're all a mile away. Waiting for your orders. They will pay me no heed. So it's really cool how you can actually see what units they've got without triggering it. So a Plague Bearer, a Plague Champion, a Plague Marine with a Bal Spewer and a Nurgling Swarm. We can just assassinate that Champion with our Vindicare. We can wait for them to make their next turn. Oh, apparently the Servitor just detected them. Are you serious? How annoying. What does this Assault Order do? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, okay, the Vindicare seen them. Assault Order. This unit gains plus one damage for melee attacks and plus one movement speed. Okay. Cool buff. But, uh, yeah, I don't like your buffs, mate. Goodbye. Die. <gasps> Must reload. Now we can... Shoot at the... Uh, shoot the Marine. See if we can immobilize him. That'd be quite handy. No, we didn't proc it. That's fine. Understood. We get another go. Because once he's immobilized, then there is no threat in... Uh, from anything other than melee, which makes things a lot simpler. But he still isn't immobilized. Prick. We could move here and throw a grenade. Probably a decent idea. Um, I mean, she can go flying in. I'm just going to put her here and set up a nice... a nice combo next turn. And yeah, we'll probably just play it nice and safe. Maybe move like, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to gauge how far they can move towards me. Probably not that much. He can move up so far. Jeez. Let's have him stand there. Then we can do some long range attacks with the purgation. As you command. Oh, it only does one damage. But it'll proc the, the multi melter as well. I'm not sure if the multi melter stuns. Let's see. No, it doesn't. That would be really good if it stunned. But it's fine. Obviously, if I get higher level servitors, it'll do more damage. Because 2 times 2 is, is not great. Still only 1, uh, one AP. Why we stunned him? I think he died to bleed. Brilliant. Yeah, the heavy bolter is pretty good. Man, look how much damage output we just got from that. Holy shit. Yeah, heavy bolter. I've been sleeping on that. Wow. That thing's... Really dope. Definitely been sleeping on the heavy bolter. The enemy is wounded. Nice. Um, do we have an extractor skull on anyone? No, we don't. Sad. Ruth 
Mm. Oh well, clean it up with the Kalidus. I think on these seed missions the enemy spawn in some reinforcements, don't they, before we can retreat. So that'll be that'll be okay. Uh, we're gonna set up our guys in like a good position to try and wipe anything that comes in basically. So we can move our tech marine down here just to be a bit more centralized. Waiting for your orders. Oh, he has a chance to parry me. That's kind of lame. Damn. Oh well. Degenerate. Lame. We'll kill him with a tech marine. I wanted your XP on my Calidus. One reinforcement's remaining. Oh, right, yeah. Here they come. I mean... Honestly, I'd be shocked if they can really do anything. Another plague champion? Is that just a marine? Non marine, isn't it? Oh, that might be something special. I see a plasma pistol over there. Yeah, plague champion. Um, Vindicare's in the wrong position, really, to deal with that, which is a shame. Praise the golden throne. Now, as for everything else, what's the AoE on Reign of Confusion? Wow, it's quite large, man. That is really something. Why is this pistol always missing? So, can move down here, chop him. Let's do that. To start with. So, if I move down here and I chop this guy... What we can do then is, I can Reign of Confusion, which affects everyone around. Now none of them can shoot. I mean, this is crazy. Poison Blade him. That brings down his stun gauge. Which is pretty sweet. But then I can just kill him with a death strike. Kick. That other guy is going to die as soon as he tries to move. Heavy stubber. Well, uh, we shoot him to death. And then what we're going to do over here, um, this is a bit trickier, just a little bit. Let's move the set marine over. Let's get blasting them. We've got grenades. Probably do want to use them, to be honest. Yeah, fuck it. Let's grenade him closer to me. Firing on target. That didn't work. Now why'd he go sideways? I wanted him to come closer. We 
Reaching the targets. Just cover him with the heavy bowler. Fine. We'll take the extra uh, AP here. If I grenade someone into an Overwatch, what happens? Does that that doesn't trigger it, does it? I don't think. I don't think so. Let's see. Oh, now he's out of the Overwatch. I grenaded him too far. God damn it. Whatever. He's a little closer, but he's still not going to die. I think I'll just take cover here. Hopefully they just kill the servitors. Like the death lord. That one. Kill What's he doing? What? Can make me vulnerable. Okay. Fair enough. Alright, whatever. Kyle just kills that guy. Vindicare kills the other heretic. Life is simple. Can I actually knock this guy off with the plasma? Yeah, unlikely. Unlikely. Probably just want to go kill this guy, don't we? Standing ready. Yes, come on. Embrace it! Sanctify my rounds. Power. Ah! We can try. Pretty sure this knockback will not be strong enough to yeet him off the map, but we'll see. Nah, not quite. That's alright though. He's gonna just live, that's very annoying actually. What's the crit chance? 40%? Well, you know what? Why don't we use the spy mask? Ready for Increase the chance of that actually critting. Because I just want this guy to die instantly, to be honest. Fall. Got him. Finding better ground. Oh, we don't have any um, any ammo for Exodus rifle. God damn it! Judgment. My legs. Your legs indeed can't move. No, you can't move anything. Ow. Oh well, we did it. We couldn't kill that Plague Champion, but whatever. That was easy. And we got the requisitions, as far as I'm aware. I don't think I used any willpower. Yeah, having the assassins definitely makes the missions to not use willpower a lot easier. Just don't bring a Calexus. Assassins plus Tech Marine, pretty easy to not use the willpower on those simpler missions. I don't think the Vindicare and the Calexus took, not Calexus, sorry, Calidus. I'm always going to get them too confused because they both begin with C. I don't think either of them took any damage on mission. None of these rewards are particularly good, so we're just saving up. Saving up our requisition, which is cool. 
I mean, you could get a chaplain, but he's so low level here that I, I don't want to do it when he's level 2. It's so annoying. We've got tier 2 now on the accessories. Come on, give us a few better ones. Anyway, moving on. No one got wounded. Beautiful. Not even light wounds from that. So, what do we want over here? Yeah, we don't have the uh, flamethrower. That would definitely be something to go for. Probably want that straight away. Yeah, I really like the flamethrower on the tech marine. Because as long as you get a kill with it, then you get the willpower back and it's basically just a free attack. Which is really cool. Um, are we not building anything? No, we're not, are we? Ah, oh, fuck. We need servitors, which I believe this mission was giving. No, it's not. It's only giving requisition. Oh, well. There's nothing we can do, is there? Because the other... We want to do this because it's spreading so much corruption everywhere. The problem was that we have to go through the warp storm, but... We got the whole integrity that should be okay. Though it could throw us off course and then we can't get there in time, so... Fingers crossed the warp storm doesn't screw us over here. And this is a technophage mission, which is cool because it means we get to bring the dreadnought along with us. And we'll be using our our tech marine again here. Probably use the higher rank tech marine. We'll see. Okay, just a hull breach. That's okay. As long as it doesn't throw us off course. Yes! We made it through the fucking warp storm without being thrown off course. That is amazing. Honestly, I was... I'd accepted in my heart that we were not going to make it. So I'm very happy that we did. So extract five seeds should be very easy as long as we bring one guy who can... just have an extractor skull. Level seven per gear. Well, that's lovely, but we don't need any more of them. Technophage outbreak. And the Tainted Sons, Plague Champion, Fetid, Bloat Drones, Plague Marines, and Blight Haulers. I mean, all that sounds pretty easy if you ask me. It feels really bad that we've got increased construction speed here, and we're not even constructing. God damn it. Yeah, we'll go for that extracting seed thing. So, Krask Fuel is only level 1, which is a bit of a problem for him, but, I mean... Whatever. I think we'll take the tier 5 guy again. He did perfectly sufficient last game. I know obviously that was a way easier mission, but it's good to get him leveled up. Um, the other guy is only with one rank higher though, isn't he? Yeah, rank 6. Well, that's fine. We'll take the, we'll take the tier 5 guy. So who else do we want? So that's nice. He can obviously support the Dreadnought, repair the Dreadnought. Once it's losing HP. He's got, the Dreadnought's got a heavy side cannon and a force glaive, which we want to try out. We've not had a chance to use those weapons on it yet. Um, what else, what else, what else? We've got a spreader. Kind of tempted to bring the Kalidus again. Well, I'm not sure. Actually, I'm not sure. I feel like the Kalidus could be pretty vulnerable on a spreader mission. Yeah, I think I'd rather have Grey Knights. So what are our other options instead? I think I'll bring the Vindicare. Oh, we can take the Colexus, can't we? Yeah, we're taking the Colexus. We're doing that. She's so good on these missions. I remember the last one. She was absolutely vital. Vindicare was less useful. Um, hmm. Do I want the Vindicare? You see, we can lead with the, the Dreadnought and the Tech Marine here, so... Something a little bit different. You know, we can have more of a ranged composition going on. This guy with his grenades and stuff. I 
Who else do I want to bring? I mean, honestly, we could bring double purgators. Bring the librarian feels pointless. Could bring double purgators instead of the vindicare. Oh, we could just rock this. Could rock this. Not a lot of healing, but... Well, four medical skulls, and then the stratagem. But the other thing is that the Dreadnought can tank a lot of damage because I can repair it with this guy. So, maybe that's worth it. Where is the buff to repairs, by the way? How do I make repairs stronger? Can you? Maybe not. No, I don't think you can. Oh well. Uh, I think we'll give this a go, actually. I think we can give this a go. You're doing extra damage to demons as well. It's going to get carried pretty hard by the Colexus, but... Colexus plus Dreadnought... I think we should be fine. And actually, we don't have a lot to fear from the enemy crack weapons that are common in the Technophage, because all of our guys here don't have passive shields. Well, she gets the shields, but it's not like permanent, so the crack doesn't do anything. Just the Dreadnought will lose armor. But honestly, the Dreadnought's more about his HP than the armor. So, yeah, I think... I think this should be it. I mean, we're not using OP Interceptors and shit, but yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. I could maybe have picked up the upgraded rifle on my Vindicare. Now that I think about it. I did say I wanted to pick that up. And I've got a shitload of requisitions, and we're not going to see the Grandmaster for quite some time, so it probably would have been an idea. But it's okay, it means we can we can upgrade the Aversa Assassin instead, with a better melee weapon and make him go crazy. We'll get the Vindicare at a different time. Hopefully these Dreadnought weapons are decent, because we kind of specced into them. Lies and trickery. Whatever cult is here, it's been overwhelmingly successful. We will purge the planet if we must. But first, the bloom spawn must be cut at its roots before its seeds spread any further. All right, nice amount of shields there on our beautiful, venerable brother Krask. Loving that. Enemy patrol over here. Where are the bloom spawns? God, that's a mile away. This one's a lot closer. So that's target number one with an enemy patrol nearby as well. And the spreader. The spreader is rather awkwardly closer to us than the bloom spawn. What about the cache? Very awkward position as well for the cache. I'm not really too fussed about getting the Archaeotech caches. Um, given that we've got two extractor zones for Archaeotech, I don't think we need to be too concerned about that. Now, I want to be spamming Sanctified Kill Zone as much as possible here in order to feed willpower to my Kalexus Assassin. There's willpower on this guy, too. So I get Promethium Spray from having this Force Glaive. Not great. Heavy Side Cannon, range 14, 7 damage, silences the enemy. That's pretty cool. Then yeah, Force Glaive. Nice AoE melee attack. Interesting. Armor pierces as well, I've got to remember that. Oh yeah, and now if any of our guys are next to the, the uh, Dreadnought, the Dreadnought will protect them from rage attacks. It's also quite handy. Dare I go and grab this straight away, given that these guys can pop out. I'll go grab it with the Vindicare. Grab that with her. Here. 
What is your command? At your service. Can I block my dreadnought? No. Fair enough. Praise the plague lord. I bring death and decay. All right, scumbags. First things first. How much crack and melter? Just this guy here. So if we can isolate him, that would be pretty nice. Now, what's that? Oh. Ah, so the upgraded version of the side cannon disables their guns. That's pretty cool. That's actually so strong. What the fuck? Yeah, that's amazing. Interesting. Um... What are you, Plague Champion? Alright, what's the plan here? What about if I shoot... No, I can't shoot them, they're behind full cover. Kind of tempted to charge in here with the, the Dreadnought. Alternatively, we can have a look at what the Tech Marine can do for us. Potentially knock them forward a little bit. The Plasma Cannon. It's a possibility. Such that we can then shoot them with the, the Dreadnought. Get a lot of damage to all kinds of enemies here. So it's going to be wasted. We're not going to be killing the Bloom Spawn. It would be nice to kill this guy as soon as possible, though. That's for sure. Vindicare at your disposal. On the hunt. I didn't want the Vindicare to hurry up and get down here, but he's not got enough AP to really do anything effective right now. No, he can't see anyone. Sad. Now, she can technically stand on the other side of the wall and hit enemies, which is pretty dope. I serve in death. Yeah, fuck it. I'm going to charge in. Now the heavy side cannon can be used here, and it can shut down all these ranged weapons, which is very important. Beautiful. My mind must and then you can dice these guys up in melee. What does this do? More damage. Okay, that's fine. Okay. That's all right. I will kill you. So and just to clarify, did all of them have their ranged weapons disabled? Yeah, they did. Oh, that's so fucking strong. Holy shit, dude. I did use all my willpower though. So that's something. You get one willpower per turn, but you don't get willpower for killing things. So I guess that's kind of balancing it out. Now we need to kill this guy. That's the number one priority right now. Um, right, let's move the Tech Marine down here. What's our plan to kill him? Well... Kinda need to move him forward a bit. 
so that we can hit him with a flamethrower as well. That would be productive. He's a bit too far back. Doesn't have a lot of health. I think... Yeah, the, there's not much value in the plasma cannon hitting anyone else. Two damage to the to the Terminator is completely irrelevant. I wouldn't worry about that. Let's just hit him in the back, knock them forward with the plasma cannon. And then between the Purgator, the Flamethrower, everything else the Tech Marine can do, I think we'll be good. We also brought the wall so now the Collexus can run through, which is actually quite handy. Yes, come on. In fact, I'm going to move this Purgator a little bit forward. We're not even going to have to waste the willpower with the flamer. So, actually, it's worth it, because we're going to have full willpower again. This is why the flamer's beautiful. I get the kill, and it's basically like a free attack. Not only that, I just fueled my Calexus with an extra willpower too, so why not? And now the advantage is that I can now use the Heavy Bolter by sending it down this way and having it line up over all these folks. And now the Vindicare can move forward as well. Alright, I think that went pretty damn well. Let's see what they're going to do with their disabled ranged weapons. Yeah, and that Heavy bolt is getting mad value. Kind of annoying how much shields these guys have, but I guess something has to balance how OP I am here. I am ready. Fucking cloud of flies. My will is yours. Wow, that's so much damage, man. What on earth? Dreadnought's pretty badass. Go admit. Commander, as you will. Oh really? I can't hit that thing? God damn it. I will mutilate you. Alright, just mutilate him then. Where can I hit him from? Okay, just forget about that for a second. What we're going to do instead, we're going to just rip this down. Okay, it's more resilient than I expected. Which is a bit annoying. Might be able to get the kill with a flamer again. The other beautiful thing with the flamer is it doesn't do friendly fire for some reason. No, apparently not. What the fuck? Why can nothing hit this guy? Really? That's gonna block it? Are you serious? Get out of here. I mean, the reason I wanted to get, to get the kill on the Vindicare is it was going to be another AP 75% of the time. Firing so, what can now. you do? It's not going to allow it. Whatever. Weapons ready.
I am dead. <laughs> Target destroyed. You're a pain in the ass is what you are. See, this is why we need more willpower on the Calexus. That would have been the end of them there. Now they get a very annoying AOE attack off there that hurts everyone. Oof. That was a lot of damage, man. Because he's got a power fist. What a prick. I have sanctified my rounds. Well, this was not the best managed from me, I must admit. It's going so good with the initial side cannon, but that last turn was really not ideal. Yeah, we'll run in and get the melee kill the Kalexus to get maximized willpower. May your soul receive its due. What is your command? Death marches. Come on, Dreadnought, why are you moving so slow? Good, that should... Yeah, 9 willpower now on her. That's amazing. Okay, that's going to be a game changer for sure. Having all that willpower on her. Uh, who's got the medical skulls? vindica has got one. What do really do with healing that tech marine? That power fist really stung. Really stung. Kind of in an awkward situation now though to get to that other bloom spawn since it's around the other side. Yeah, it's like I have to go around. Very annoying. Uh Vindicare, why don't you just go grab that? love how he just gets the willpower automatically. I mean, it's kind of lame that he doesn't get it from the kills, but definitely makes up for it, getting it just automatically in between these fights. Oh, I just realized I don't think I took a extractor skull, did I? Fuck's sake. So extracting five seeds could be quite difficult. Ah, oh, no. I'm going to fail that then, probably. I mean, it depends how many people turn up with seeds in the end, but that was a mistake. That was easy on the basis that we took an extractor skull to make it easy. Uh, without that, yeah, it might not be quite so simple.
It seems to me like it would be a terrible idea to try and cross this way. Because surely this thing's just going to be able to hit me. Ah, fuck me. But there are vents of that way. I think I'd still rather go around this way and in. Seems a lot safer. Very nice that we just walk through the walls though. Them. Okay, they're gonna come for me. That's alright, let them come. Let them come. Yeah, I'll let her extract the bloom spawn. She needs yes. the willpower. through. That's lame. I shouldn't have moved the dreadnought so far up. Alright, in this case, how are we going to deal with this? Um, huh. I mean, we've got... How much armor is that? That's eight armor. So we can nearly one-shot this guy with a psych cannon. And we want to because he's got that fucking multi-melter that breaks armor. So we kind of need to, but we could also bring the Kalexus up. No, she's not got enough range. God damn it. To finish it off. Nope. Sad, sad, sad. I don't think anyone has really. Maybe the Tech Marine will. Let's find out. We heard oh shit, coming. more of them. God, and the spreader. They might call down a load of reinforcements here as well. That's what I'm now thinking. Yeah. That thing's got 68 HP. Oh my god. What the fuck? Okay, okay, okay. Chill out, game. Chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. That's ridiculous. Can anything hit this? Like, if I send out the plasma cannon? Yeah, he can. That would technically kill that thing. Um, no, stop. But he can't fire through there, fuck's sake.
Hmm. Oh, I could just send out the multi melter, right? That should be able to fire from there. Alright, Dreadnought. Shoot your side cannon. I hope the multi melter can hit from here. Yes, yes, it can. Beautiful. So we get to kill that. And that's really handy because it stops the wall from being broken by all the missiles. And now the Collexus can hide behind here and blast the Terminators, which is pretty cool. As for the Vindicare, um, hmm. I don't really know what the best option for here is. Hitting, hitting this would be pretty helpful. How can I shoot that? Maybe if I go here. I'm not sure with that wall sort of in the way. Oh, I can. I can shoot the top of that. Yeah, we can crush these two. Does health damage, goes through the shield, so that's pretty nice. I strike true. Everything else is kind of too far away, really gonna be a load of shit coming out of here these guys are moving down as well that's pretty scary honestly it's gonna be a lot of enemies there's no cover anywhere what the fuck this thing itself can attack me as well so I'm not sure how I feel about all this Am I able to shoot any of these from any of these locations I can shoot something What's that? Noxious Blightbringer. Do I kill him with my dead shot? Could, right? Yeah, probably should. It's going to be annoying. These guys can throw out their crack grenades. They're probably going to do that on my dreadnought. But I think that's okay. Um, as for my Vindicare, I think we'll send him here says I can still hit this guy. Oh, I just got an extra AP. Beautiful. Yeah, let's just wipe him out. Perfect let's get rid of this fool. Because he could be very problematic. Stopping me from using abilities and such. So we got an auto reload. Is there anything we really want to use it for? There is another Blight Hauler back there, which is pretty annoying to deal with. Um... I'm going to move him up into the half cover there. You see, like, we could use stealth and then we know we're fine here and then get off another shot. Oh, I could cripple as well, actually. I could get the guaranteed cripple. That might not be a bad idea now that I think about it. Then again, we don't know what's coming out of here either. There could be something more important to cripple next time. Uh, remind me, what does the cripple do on this? I know we can armor break. We can immobilize it. Target can no longer use ranged attacks. So shut down its smelter gun. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I don't want that thing to shoot my dreadnought with a melter. Precision target locked in. Oh, we can armor break, and then we can... Um, yeah, I'm going to armor break it, and then I'm going to inflict torpor. No, I'm not, because that was my last AP. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, well, it's using its missile, so that's fine. Here come the crack grenades. But he just thrown that at Purgation and Tech Marine. They don't even have armor, so that's kind of a waste. Yeah, whatever. It is kind of hurting my Tech Marine, who's pretty low on HP. Man, there are so many enemies. What the fuck? Oh, that guy's got a draining bolter, which is kind of annoying. There's another patrol there. There's a patrol just over here. There's shit coming out of the portal. 
This is rough. This is rough. Terminate is putting in some serious damage. Fortunately, oh no, those guys are now moving in on us. And there's guys back here. What the fuck? This is ridiculous. Okay, fortunately, the reinforcements aren't that crazy. They're bad enough, but they're not that crazy. Um, right. How are we doing this then? Let's have a think. Light Lord Terminator. Oh, we really could do with killing that Plague Surgeon pretty fucking fast. That's for sure. What is your command? Not really got very good aim on anything here with my side cannon. Apparently you can shoot down there, which is a bit weird. How did he shoot me, but I can't shoot him? What's that all about? Seems weird. I'd like to get rid of both these little pussies with their melters. I am here to serve. We got seven HP. Get rid of that plague bearer. Need to do a little bit of healing as well. Purify the tech marine too. My wrath is restored, brother. I serve. The foe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. Maybe I yeah, don't kill that with the Colexus. Let's see. I would like to get rid of that guy. We're not going to be able to extract these seeds. It's already been quite established. So I want the Dreadnought to move here and, and kill these two. With its side cannon. What else can we do, though? We've got the Flamer here, which can weaken it. The Vindicare can then get another shot. The Vindicare is able to... shoot the Plague Surgeon. What's this guy doing over here? No, stop. What actually is this guy? Just a Bolter, but a Bolter that drains willpower. I'm going to spy mask that thing. Vulnerability analysis complete. Man, this is proving rather difficult to tackle. Yeah, that service was dead. Um, hmm. Yeah. 
I strike true. And get rid of that plague bearer. Now we can send the multi melter forward. Brilliant. I actually forgot they were there. All oh, fucking terminators. I want you to shoot the surgeon twice and then drop the tower on him. See if that achieves much for us. I don't know how much dropping the statue on him is going to do. It might be six, it might be seven. You're yeah, not quite enough to kill. You can't reach from there, can you? No. That would be asking a lot, to be fair. But she's got a lot of willpower, so I'm actually kind of content moving her yes. up. Now she can reach, and that would be a kill uh, with a tower. And I can also get a fat attack off on that Terminator. Could also burn these cunts. Lots of tools available. Hmm. Well, hold on then, hold on. We'll do one attack. And then we'll crush him with the Vindicare. And then we can move the Dreadnought down this way a little bit to shoot at these fools. Or I could shoot at them from here, apparently. Okay, that's interesting. I wasn't, real I wasn't aware that I'd be able to do that. Um, yeah, so we shoot... Oh no, we've only got one ammo. Fuck. Oh, that's annoying. Well, we can kill one of them. I could do this and disable their guns, but I don't think that's really necessary right now, to be honest. Um, hang on. We'll have one spare AP, won't we? Yeah, which we'll use to reload. I mean, that's nice damage from super long range. Or I could just tank the missile thing. How much damage does that even do? Target a blast attack over area free to destroy cover, but... Yeah, but what does it do? Set a blast uh, next turn, deal five damage, five damage. Yeah, whatever, we'll dodge five damage, sure. Let's let's dodge five damage and uh, just put ourselves in a better position in general. So now what we can do on the Colexus, we can actually hit this and burn these guys. Oh, that's nice. All right, man. There's so many enemies here. Ow. That was a fucking shitload of damage. That's from the spreader, I'm assuming. We need to avoid that thing. We need to just move to the right right now. Ow, the armor brick. Attacks yet to come in. Oh my 
god, what are they doing? Wrecking the beautiful architecture. Okay, they're doing a lot of damage. Holy shit. Blinding and draining. There's not enough cover. Wow, there's so many reinforcements coming in as well. What makes this even worse is that we're timed. Man, it's super laggy as well. Hmm. Need to move away from this fucking thing. Vindicar, For sure. This is spooky, man. There's more enemies coming from here as well. God damn. I know that guy's burning, but I want him dead anyway because he's going to strip me of more armor, which should be very disappointing. Just blast him for me. Right, you need to get back now. Badly needed. Hmm. I will mutilate you. Oh, you can't disable their ranged weapon? Are you fucking kidding me? No way. That's really annoying. Really annoying. Fine, we'll just armor break then. That wasn't what I wanted though. But we get a bleed on him, that's nice. But everything else is too out of range. Hmm. This is looking rough. Uh, Kalexus. I need to heal my Kalexus. I'm afraid I don't think the purgation is going to do a whole lot here. Can you hit the... that ball? You can? Okay, that's nice. What? What the fuck was that? Is that because you're blinded? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. I don't know you actually have to inflict damage to them. What kind of bullshit's that? Commander. I don't know what kind of bullshit that is, but it is definitely bullshit. 
Okay, we can kill him instantly. So let's do that. He will nearly die, but not quite. I just need to avoid this thing. I don't want to fight this thing in the first place. Yes, come on. It's going to deal crazy damage to me. I can't believe that just didn't do anything. I am the bane of psychers. Take it down to ten. Ah, oh, fuck it. I need to get rid of these turtles. I still have eight shields. Oh, we got another one back as well. Yeah, okay, cool. Do that then. Burn them. Get a bit of damage over time going on there. So that's nice. Um, other than that... Everyone else is too long range. Can't really do anything. I think we just got to need to flank around that way. With this guy. See, we got rid of the guys with the crack grenades. These guys still have the fucking blight grenade, though. Which is problematic. Pierce armor as well, blight grenades, apparently. Didn't know that. So yeah, I need to split my guys up because I've got no more healing right now. Um, hmm. <sighs> I can actually shoot this guy apparently. It's interesting. Lower his stun a bit, though executions don't feel very viable. Uh, what actually is going on with this thing because we haven't killed the other Bloom Swan? This ga unit gains plus two blast damage and plus five armor. I see. I got 30 HP from the Technophage. Right. Wow. Okay. Yeah, fuck that. Just reload. We need to get kills on him so that he can heal the dreadnought. And what's this? What's the poxwalkers? Well. Oh, the Nurglings. Yeah, there are Nurglings. So they've all got more HP. That's a lot of enemies. Even if they are Poxwalkers mostly, that's a fucking lot of them. Jesus Christ, man. Nightmare. What the hell, man? They're actually hurting my Calexus. Oh, fuck off. There's more enemies here. Yeah, we need to leave. Right now, we just need to go. Why is this not doing damage? Long range putrescent fog. Wow. I thought. 
It's burning. Why has it got full health? Does burn not go through shields? Are you kidding me? Why would burn not go through shields? What? Or did it just pick up the burning? It might have just picked up the burning, actually. Hmm. This is really troublesome. Like, I can't advance here. This is absurd. Repair. That's all my willpower on the Tech Marine. I think we need to fall back and fight whatever's down here. Uh, we need more vents, though. There's a vent there, there's a vent there, because we're limited on turns here. There's a vent there. We can get a lot of willpower just killing these pox walkers and stuff. They're not too concerning. What's this? Plague Marine. With a bolt gun. And this is another bolt gun plague marine. Okay, these aren't too big of a deal. Nerglings. And another bolter. So three bolter plague marines, nerglings, and a load of pox walkers. That's not concerning. That is not concerning. Why does clicking the dreadnought every time make me lag? To just let them come to us. There's another vent down here as well. Wow, they got so much fucking health, man. What the hell? The bleed will kill him eventually. Right, let's see what's hitting us from the back here. Nurgle Lawnmower. And what else? Fucking hell, Terminators. Not ideal. Did 
the nerglings move down? Oh, just poxwalkers. Okay, I'm glad the terminators are bleeding and burning. That's good. So, how are we going to deal with this? Do we have grenades? We have this. It's going to do a lot of damage. Hmm. What is your will? I knocked the marines away, which is good. The enemy is wounded. I actually really want to have the tech marine fucking in position here to burn all these. Damn it. I can't. There's no way. Then we've got melters down here. Fucking hell, fireman. It's a nightmare. Weapons ready. Yes, come on. Well, that's the pox walkers dealt with, but we didn't get the AP from them that we wanted. Praise this thing. I want to just take out his gun. Bleeds him too. I need to save Deadshot for the Terminators for sure. Unleash my horrors. Don't know why this bitch's movement speed seems so low right now.
Did you kill him, Tech Marine? Yes, thank goodness. We slay the darkness. What is your command? This is very hard to know what to do. Duh. Yeah, just kill it. Move closer, because you got a shitload of shields, ten shields or something. Crazy like that. Uh, he's going to have a grenade that he can throw out. I'll do two damage through that. I don't really have any way to resist that or anything. Whatever, just stand next to the Dreadnought, get your true silver bulk. Hopefully they attack the Colexus instead. That thing's moving down. Still burning. I think it'll just live though. See, so just healing instead of advancing? That's good. It buys me a bit of time. We need to start working on these fucking vents though, man. Because we're running out of turns to complete this damn mission. We've still got our stratagems. We've got Deadshot ready to annihilate a Terminator when they turn up. What's going on? Is it fucking bugged again? Oh my god, it might have, you know. I swear it's these uh, Nuggle lawnmowers. Keep bugging out. Wow, just when it was getting tense as well, man. Just when it was getting tense. Are you serious? Alright, we'll be back. Will I live? I'll find out soon. Okay guys, we managed to overcome that bug by killing the fetid blight drone, even though I wasn't, I didn't really want to. Um, we managed to do that. It ended up using a lot of willpower on my Kalexus Assassin, but it was the only way I was able to do it. It was causing the game to freeze pretty consistently otherwise, which is kind of lame. So right now, what do we want to do? Let's see. I want to kill this guy for sure. He needs to go. I wish I wasn't sort of blocking. No, we're just going to keep chopping. So, yeah, I'm going to have to do that again because I can't kill him. Oh, I can now. I can, I can, I can, I can, I can because I just broke the wall. So now I can stand next to him. Very nice. Good. Good. Now the Green Dreadnought can move up. We need the Colexus Assassin to get saved from that suppression. Uh, we're going to activate Stealth so we don't get shot to death with our Vindicare. And we need to use Deadshot, which apparently is on cooldown. What? Wait, are you serious? Why is it on cooldown? Because I didn't kill enough of these, I guess. Hmm. Oh, are you serious? To hit this guy, I need to be... What? 
Why do I need to be so far forward? The fuck? That's kind of weird. Oh well. So he had his armor broken. Do we want to focus on trying to kill him? Why am I doing so little damage? Oh, the fucking putrescent fog. Nightmare. This thing's nearly dead as well, though, to be fair. No, we'll, we'll expose that guy. We need to disrupt the other one, shut him up for a bit. So that the collectors can actually move. There we go. Yes, I can shoot that as well. Disrupt that. Perfect. Good. Weapon empty. Right, um No man. The willpower is kind of lacking right now on my Colexus. It's not like any amazing places to be taking cover or anything. Uh, I'm also concerned about standing near the Vindicare and getting grenaded. Let's just deal with this shit first, so... We can get a nice attack off here. Suppose most of these are shit, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, let's just grenade. kind of run me down now, can't they? That's the problem. Got four ammo. Might be time to quick sliver this one. At least we could kill this guy. And then move back a bit. Get rid of him. So to the and now move the fuck back. So the other question is, what the hell are we doing with this Colexus? And honestly, I'm not really even sure, to be honest. Um, these guys can shoot with the Dreadnought. The Dreadnought's quite durable right now. At the same time, the Colexus wants to get close. She's only got seven willpower, so seven shields is not a lot. Honestly, given the damage that these fuckers do. Six damage with the auto cannon. I mean, that's pretty spooks. That is pretty scary. I guess if we move like here, we should be pretty fine. That doesn't really do anything. I think I'm gonna hide behind here. I'm just so scared of their grenades randomly hitting things like this. 
Let's see. The Dreadnought will be able to advance up that way, which should be helpful. We're running out of time as well. We'll get another turn from Event down this way from the Tech Marine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can heal them with the, the global thing, the Sanctify. Which we likely will do. Another Blight drone thing. Where are you going? Can you shoot my Purgator? Oh, shooting the Dreadnought, alright. Oh, he's got Drain. What a cunt. What a cunt. Man, you're gonna suppress her, okay. Fine. Whatever. Wait, what was that? Was that a separate one? What is going on, man? These Terminators are the main problem right now. Uh, oh, he just wasted his time suppressing her because she she's immune. Uh, man. That's back, apparently. Did I never get that? Huh. I do have the charge. Charge in over here. Don't think I'll be in range to do much else. Oh, I wish I knew how much the ability is on that. So let's reload. Can I just shut down their guns? That would be amazing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Can I reach them? I mean, I can hit this guy. Boom. Yeah. For two turns, that'll shut them up. Oh, he resisted the affliction. That's okay. We're going to just kill him. Give us some more time, please. Man, this is not great. No, I can't hit anything. God damn it, man. I think maybe this guy should just leave, in all honesty. I guess I could rotate down this way. Yeah. Shoot them once with this. So now they're in the kill range from the Vindicare. And then that Purgator, I think, is just going to leave and go, um, go get loads of Spreader turn things, whatever they're called. Vents. Go secure vents. Okay, we got the extra AP. I mean, it was most likely that we would, but if we didn't, I'd have been screwed. So now what I can do is I can reload, and then I can assassinate the other Terminator. Well, I don't know if that's worth it, actually. He can't attack for a turn, can he? He can't shoot for a turn. Maybe I don't bother. No, actually, um, that probably is worth it. Yeah, just get rid of the fucker. Die. If we're lucky, we auto-reload, but we... I can't remember, is it 50% chance or something? Okay, we did auto-reload, brilliant. And now we need to leave. So just like you, you're going to move back. And you're going to... Uh, what are you going to do? Yeah, you're going to you're gonna move. You're going to move, boy. And then the Tech Marine, what HP are you on? Technically just enough for a repair. Stand next to him, get a repair off. Okay. 
Now, as far as this thing's concerned, uh, I think there's another one around here. Then again, she's got a shitload of willpower, so honestly, I might just go in and melee it. Let's just move forward to here and see what's going on. Do we see any others? Where is the other one? I thought another one came around here. I'm quite confident. She's got nine shields. She should be okay. Let's just go melee this thing. Get even more shields when we kill it with a melee. Oh yeah, there's another one there. Shitload of shields on it, but it's fine. She doesn't have proper armor, so the armor break from the melter I don't care about. Um, might have been an idea actually to heal my purgation right now, purgator. Okay, these guys are just fannying around out here. That's okay. That's not going to achieve too much. Probably want to send the dreadnought down that way. What's this? Oh, Nurglings turning them into Poxwalkers. Alright, she's going to go down and kill that Blight Hauler. She can also grab the vent while she's at it. What's this? Just more fucking Plague Marines. I mean, look, we need to get the vents, like, every turn now. This is getting a bit silly. Oh my god, so many reinforcements. Three reinforcements left? What the fuck? Oh, that's not good. Yes. We've got full willpower on her so let's get blasting oh yeah she got another one back there that's great yeah so we can kill that wait so do these vents come back no they don't do they no 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 they don't I just never took that that's really stupid of me whoops there's another vent down there I'm going to obviously need to rotate her back, though. So, yeah, you can get rid of this thing. You cannot avoid your fate. Go grab that vent. Right, one other thing I want to check is... Does this heal affect the assassins? Yes, it does. Okay, so maybe I don't even want to waste it on the purgator. Because it's just not that relevant. It seems. Weapons ready. Now, we don't know what's going to come out of the portal here, but... Whoa, why am I taking damage? What? Oh, because this fucking thing is going to fall on top of me, that's why... Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, don't do that then, Dreadnought, that'd be silly. Just go here. These are only lesser Poxwalkers, so I don't get AP from killing them, which is unfortunate. Got a lot of shields on my Dreadnought, got a lot of HP, so I'm quite confident I'm just going to walk right into the enemy here. There's a lot of them around, these are all Bolter Marines. Alright. We don't know what's coming out of that though, that's the main scary thing really. We could shut down these guns. Probably a good idea. Yeah, let's shut down these guns. I'll tell you what, I'm liking the side cannon. I'm not liking the Doom Glaive that much, to be honest with you. It's hard to get in range with it, is, is how I'm feeling. Now, these guys shouldn't be able to get around to us with any sort of ease. So I can get some relatively easy shots off now on these guys. Then I think I'll get rid of the purgator afterwards. Uh, what am I doing? Let's just focus on killing this weakened one. Mutating. Now, one of the best things about the Dreadnought here is if I stand next to it, I'm actually immune to um, getting attacked by ranged attacks from the bolters and such. So that feels pretty nice. So I can move in like that. Oh, 
These guys having free HP is very annoying. It's all thanks to the Nurgling buffing them up. He's just an obnoxious little cunt. So we can shoot this thing. Then the Vindicare can come in and maybe kill that guy at the back. We'll see. My god, they just keep mutating. It's so annoying. Oh, wait. Yeah, I can't. I can't hit that guy, can I? No matter where I stand, it's not possible to hit him. Uh, if I stood here, I could shoot this guy, but... Then it's only a roll, whether or not I get the uh, extra AP, and then these guys could come in and beat my ass down, which sounds not very pleasant. I can't hit anyone from here. Damn it, I can't kill him. Fucking hell, man. So annoying. I don't really want to inflict torpor. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Yeah, just go around this way. Oh, we got extra AP for moving. Oh, that's nice. That was lucky. Now we can actually kill him with a pistol. And there's a chance we'll get another AP after that. A good chance, actually. Down with a whimper. Yeah. Like, we can take this guy's gun off next turn for now. Uh, for now, there's not really a whole lot we can do, to be honest. No, from this positioning. Oh well. I actually do like this positioning. Because I really need my Vindicare to be safe. So we'll end the turn there. I've got to see what comes out as reinforcements. He's just going to chill. He's going to move into melee. Drain my fucking dreadnought. What a prick. You're just going to shoot the Dreadnought, I guess? Yeah. Oh, he drains as well? What? Why are they all draining, man? Bullshit. What they got? Fucking hell, man. That's loads. Holy shit. Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, get out of here. No way. Plus five armor for three turns. And more reinforcements, of course. Dude, this is bullshit. Plus three armor for fucking three... T uh, plus five armor for three turns. Ah, oh, nah, dude. Nah, fuck this. We've, we've lost this. We can't win that. What? How could you possibly? Look at the fucking state of this. What? That's a crazy amount that just spawned as well. Double Nurgling Swarm. I mean, that's absurd. Now we've got Pox Walkers with fucking 5 armor and 11 HP. Get out of here. Well, you got to get Chopping Grey Knight or not. What the hell, man? What a joke. Now, that is a joke, that. I don't really know what to make of that. That's just complete piss sick. I don't really know what the point of this thing is. Like, free damage? That's so bad. Dude, what? I can't believe the damage on this. It's insane. I don't know what I'm meant to do with all this, man. This is a joke. More reinforcements coming in, too. This thing's got fucking 60 HP, so even the Colexus, I think, is going to struggle. 60 fucking HP. And I am I'm terrified what's going to come out of here. Could be bloody anything. Man... 
What on earth? I mean, they only deal four damage. Yeah. So versus her 12 shields, they're not like terrifying, but ah, it's, a, it's an absolute joke that. What the fuck, man? See, I don't have Purify. I've just got this to nullify boons, but I can't cleanse the boons that have already took place. That's the problem. Oh my god, I could have closed the warp rift. I totally forgot about that mechanic. Fuck it, boys. I'm reloading. Fuck it. I'm reloading that shit. I don't care, man. I feel hard done by with them spawning that many poxwalkers and instantly giving them all plus five armor just for the lulls. For free turns. Why the fuck's that free turns as well? What a joke. If Nurgle's gonna play that game, we're gonna play that game too. Fuck that shit. So we're not going to have the Collectors to deal with all that shit on the right hand side. Um, that's just going to have to come down to the Grey Knight Dreadnought. But... Oh no, apparently not. Because it just... It saved my movement. Oh, you fucking twat. I, to serve. I hate Grandmaster mod. Why am I playing on Grandmaster mod? I thought it would take me to the start of the turn. Direct my what? I am here to serve. I fucked up by not all f 4 God dang it, man! Ready to kill. They take the piss. Um. Oh my god, this is a nightmare. Can you shoot him? Why can you not shoot him, Vindicare? Why not? Why not? Do tell me, please. Why not? I have to move here. And then I can cripple him. Dude, it's such a joke. Plus five armor. I mean, what can I do with that? Plus five fucking armor. Me. Can you just kill him? Four. Gotta get rid of these fucking nerglings, man. Five HP. You can't even kill him. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is ridiculous, bruv. On the plus side, the Dreadnought can chop through all these without getting into melee. That's, you know, that's some... Uh, without, like, AP problems. Without shield. Oh my god, I can't even speak right now. I'm just... I'm tripping out. I'm not gonna lie. I'm fucking tripping out. Um, you can weaken them with that, and then the the Vindicare can pistol it and hopefully get his AP back. Hopefully. We must refocus, Commander. Commander. Die. Terminated. He didn't, did he? Wow. No AP. Sad. I 
Well, this guy lost his arm, so I don't really give a shit about him anymore. And what I'm actually going to do, yeah, I'm going to spray this area to burn the Poxwalkers. And then hopefully my Dreadnought can kill the Poxwalkers in melee. Because that'll go through their shields. And we reload this thing. Yeah, you need to go into melee with this guy. What does that do? More armor brick. We well, don't have any willpower. Just melee him. We'll be able to stun him next turn. I strike true. The other dude's pretty close to stun as well. Uh, yeah. With pleasure. Kind of got an unnecessary crit there. All right. Well, you need to get moving down to these vents. We've got two more vents over here. Affirmative. As long as we're a pie right now, we can't be hit. Um, what are these going to do? What's that at the back? Is that the Nurgling Swarm? It is. They drain as well. God damn the fucking drain, dude. What an annoying piece of shit this enemy squad is. Gonna move the Collectors here. She's got a shitload of shields. More than my Grey Knight Dreadnought, even. It's gonna disrupt me. I'm just chill. That's fine. He's just gonna get executed. Drain in my dreadnought. Okay, just shooting. Yeah, that is pathetic, but what I'm now concerned about is the turn timer, which is getting precariously low right now. Okay, that was effective. Oh my god. Please stop. Just stop. Okay, that's cool. The Nurglings are running forward. We can blow them up with um, the big, big lady. Oh my gosh. Alright, triple plague bearers. That's a lot. Okay, and more Nurglings. Oh my god. I was going to say triple plague bearers is not that scary, but all those fucking Nurglings are. Bang. That does reach. Um, yeah, we're going to have to do that, aren't we? We'll do it again. Well, we're full anyway. So it's fine. We can, like, injure this guy. Yeah. That extra armor has really screwed me, man. Really badly screwed me. This guy is pretty close to being stun uh, locked down as well. What does that do? More damage, but I don't have the willpower anyway. Alright, we'll just crack on then. What's that? <laughs> That's just a lesser box walker, but it's basically unkillable. Oh my god, what a fucking joke! Holy shit, this is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous that they got Grandfather's Blessing at this time. I can't believe it, man. Ugh. I guess I can kill this guy. Wasting AP on the Dreadnought, it's going to need to heal, though. Is there any, uh... No, there's nothing in there to grab. Ooh. Fucking hell, fire. I am with you. Yeah, you just need to get venting, venting, venting. So this guy... Give me a target. 
is one off. So now he can be executed. Doink. That's nice, it gives the Purgator a bit more movement range. This guy needs to reload. Not really a huge deal. We'll have another crippling shot soon. We'll use that to cripple that fucker. Otherwise, we just want to get this guy down a bit. And then we can execute him. Yeah. Such a shame the assassins don't get AP from that as well. But what can you do? I need to stay near the Dreadnought so that the Tech Marine doesn't get shot with his very low HP. But we can just shoot here. Whatever. And a little bit more AP on him to go down to that vent, which I believe is all the other vents down this side of the map that are secured. She's alright, she's got enough shields for now. She should be able to kill that other Plague Marine. That dude there is going to get taken out by the Vindicare. Going to knock his arm off. And then we shouldn't have too much to worry about. Oh, nice. He died to burning. Good. Fucking hell, man. So judgeable. Nerglings are a serious problem. More reinforcements. Oh, I don't give a shit about your fucking seeds right now. They are not a concern. This guy have fucking 10 HP. What the hell, man? It's a pox walker. There's only one Nurgling swarm, right? Like, what the fuck? Oh, get out of here with your healing, dude. That doesn't even kill now. God damn it. So annoying. Does this do friendly fire? Oh, it does. Yikes. Well, at least that kills them instantly, I guess. Let's see. You can shoot him from afar and then he'll die to the Colexus, which probably is a good idea. The heavy side cannon's dope. Oh, he needs to reload now. Yeah, now she's got to get back because she's going to get gang banged by plague bearers otherwise. Oh, she got some, some AP back. That's nice. Um, hmm. 
you just fall damage by default, so technically I could kill that. She would have eight willpower left. Probably fine, actually. Yes, let's do this then. Calexus is hard carrying as usual. Okay, what are we doing over here? Dreadnought probably just reloads. Uh, you could double attack. Double attack and then Vindicare can shoot it to death. Maybe get another AP on the Vindy. Also reduces cooldowns. Vengeance. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Weapon loaded. My will is yours. Guess I'll just knock this guy back. Maybe. Not sure actually. Uh can't shoot that, can I? Could I? It's be very hard to aim that to actually perfectly hit them. Just knock him back. See if that in any way protects me from a melee hit. might do it might not do whatever doesn't really matter what it will do is it will guarantee that the vindicare is out of range now of him for sure we can also make one of these vulnerable to crits it's not really a big deal As you will. let's just move the vindy up let's see what else comes out of the portal to attack us today just melleeing the Dreadnought, that's fine. Lots of Plague Bearers coming up now. The Calexus does extra damage to the Plague Bearers, so hopefully she can go a bit crazy on them. I'm more concerned right now what's coming out of the portal. The Nurglings need to die as well, for sure. Oh, the Plague Bearers are going to start summoning That's the Poxwalkers. That's cute. What's that? Is that a Plague Champion too? Ooh, this is crazy! Yep, let's chop Suey them. Wow, he just got yeeted. A suitable lesson. Hmm. What's the plan here? I want the Dreadnought to go to the mid and help the Calexus, since that's the big tanky thing that can actually take it, unlike these fuckers who really can't right now. Calexus. Where's the champion? The champion's there. I could torpor them. Yeah, it's not really helping. I mean, if I torpor them, then none of these things can... can help it. How much does this do? It only does 5 damage, that's the problem. So we could hit it with one of these. Eh, whatever. Just gotta start clearing them, but the Dreadnought can come down and help. I'm sure you can deal with them on your own, right? Sure you can. Yeah, these guys definitely can take them on. 
Your orders. Let's move this fella up. Uh, yeah, you yes, move sir. here. What stun is he on? Oh, he's not on a lot of stun, but he's nearly dead, though. Is the good thing. Your orders? Commander. Alright, we just kill him with the Vindica. Now kill that in melee, please. Take that willpower. Thank you very much. And now I want you to obliterate those Nurglings. Good. We're going to activate Torpor. Yes! It immobilized everyone, no one resisted. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Now you, for some reason, are just out of range. Perfect. Not. Why the fuck are you out of range? God's sake. Um. Hmm, how do we want to do this then? There's a vent there. I mean, we need to get shit in here to kill this bloom spawn. We've got limited time to kill the rest as well. All right, let's move him up here. Purgation can get the other one. You're going to have to get this one. And the Dreadnought can then move... All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. So I'm forgetting about my Vindy. I always forget about the Vindy. The Vindy can take his arm off. Deadshot's nearly back to kill that Plague Champion. Yeah, you move here. Not sure how much ammo this uh, dreadnought's got. Let's have a look. Three out of three right now. Sweet. So let's get blasting these down. It's really not clear to me if we're going to win this or not. Heals off. Final reinforcements now. Unleash my horrors. Hmm. Just starting to lack damage. Use too much willpower. Canal, how far back is this guy, man? Miles back? There's no time. No more fucking vents. Are there? There's one there. That's it. Uh, another one there. There's a few scattered around over here, but... There's, like, nowhere to move. Feels bad, man. Feels real bad.
mean, yeah, you can disable those weapons. That's cute. Oh, I could take him out, actually. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do that. Because we do that, then we shoot the Exodus rifle. Whoops, not you. You. No reload, of course. Yes. Unleashing my eye. Mm, for fuck's sake. What's going on? Is that thing coming back? Each time? I'm really confused. Like, I c did I really never do that? What? None of the rest are coming back. I could have sworn I did that one. I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah, we immobilized him again. That's nice. Want to reload in case the plague champion comes around the corner. I need to dead shot him. Oh. Oh, what the fuck's that? Oh, he's trying to cast some psychic shit on me, which she dodged. That's so many enemies. Taking cover. Fuck my life. How is this meant to be possible? <laughs> I need to reload. Funny. Why can I not hit him from there? You little shit. That's what you are, you're a little shit, mate. Come on, surely from here I could hit him. Oh, I can hit him from there, beautiful. Kill him! These guys are that close. See if I can get another melee kill on this plague bearer. Maybe charge through here. Nah, don't charge through. Let's um, mm, 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 let's just reload.
ready to kill. Fire! Now she can definitely get a melee kill. Oh, fuck off! I am ready. God, so annoying. That's so annoying that they got the chance to mutate there. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just wanted a bit more willpower, you know? Oh, really? They're going to resurrect as well? Well, I don't know what I can do about that, man. So just shoot this fucker. Whatever that's worth. Oh, these mutations are a problem. That's so lame. Instantly attacks me again, does a shitload of damage. Blinded as well? Oh, what a joke this is. Do you not agree? Guys, do you not agree this is a total fucking joke? Plagues me. Brilliant. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, well, at least he's doing that. But there's no more time. Is this immune to vulnerable? It's immune to all afflictions. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, I can shoot for the wall, apparently. What? Firing on nope. Stop, 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 stop. Go here and chop it. You can get rid of a lot of armor this way. It's probably worth it. We need to kill this thing ASAP. Um, right, how the hell are we going to manage this then? So, I can't currently hit any of these. He's on two. But no one here can execute. I don't think the Grey Knight Dreadnought executes. Mm. It's actually quite annoying how it does knock back. So I think what I need to do next is, how much is the, this, this is two willpower. So I could charge through, and then I can also, um, no, oh, hang on, hang on. I can also disable guns afterwards, but, but it's not going to hit. Oh, fuck it. You're just going to have to do it, aren't you? Yeah. She's at full willpower right now. Oh my gosh, she just one-shots that cunt. Give me a target. What about the cunt at the back? <laughs> Listen, 
Alexis Assassin, man. Um, so we can crippling shot this fool. And then we can double pistol shot this fool. With pleasure. Hit confirmed. Your life belongs to the Vindicare. I will mutilate you. Fury. I am listening. Can't shoot that thing from here. Uh, I in what do we do here? Just I think she just needs to go ham, doesn't she? Wait, why does that do more of the melee? Wait, what? Oh, because I'm fucking blinded, man. And in spite of being blinded, I still fucking one-shot all these creeps. I continue to serve. Yes. Well, you can kill that with your rifle. Um, yep, you blow him up. And you shoot that with your rifle to bring it in kill range, most likely. If it doesn't bring it in kill range, then whatever. Now it does reduce melee damage. But it will die. We got lucky, we got the instant reload. Awesome. Now, this spreader, I believe the spreader causes plague, which is quite scary. Goodbye. I wonder if she's immune. Is this a psychic attack? Oh, fuck knows, man. Absolutely fuck knows. Absolutely fuck knows. So... It afflicts random. It's a blast attack. Six damage. If she fucking dies right now, I'm gonna rage. Oh, I don't go for shields, does it? No. No, 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 no. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Plague Surgeon with 32 HP. Buddy, why have you got so much HP? Really? Yes, come on. You're gonna drop me, aren't you? I am his Gotta go for that Ben. Firing now. I was hoping I'd get another um 
another melee attack in with my tech marine, but no. And also, they can kill me right now, too. The spreader can kill me. If we can get rid of his arms or something. Acquiring firing position. Activating Don't want to get hit by the plasma pistol from that fucker. Targeting. Yes, 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 yes. Goodbye to your ranged weapon. Range 17, so from here is where I become range 17, and he is range 14, right? Range 14, so if I trigger it when I get into this range, then he can't hit me, because I'm right on the edge. Even here, he shouldn't be able to hit me. Nice reload. Um... We'll heal him, because he could technically be killed otherwise. I'm pretty confident she's fine with her shields. Yeah, there you go, little cunts targeting him. Oh, he's annoying, isn't he? We're gonna do it! I can't believe it. I am actually fucking gobsmacked. I had conceded in my mind that we were wrecked. Holy shit, this was incredibly difficult. Wow, 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 was that hard. Unbelievable. Absolutely, absolutely unbelievable. Oh, burn that Nurgle shit. Thank you. Good God. Let me just nick this seed real quick. Thank you. <laughs> it's technically a seed for the thing. I can't believe I forgot the extractors as well. God damn it, man. But yeah, that should be us winning, right? Like... Whoa. Yeah, there's no way this thing lives Lexus right now. Amazing. I mean, honestly, I could even stay in longer. What would be the point of that? It would be to get seeds. Uh, but nah, there's there's none available. Let's just fucking end this shit. I bring death. Madness. Feel the sting of my 
Absolutely madness. Do we want to get the kill with the tech marine? Yeah, fuck it. I think our assassins are really high level anyway. Especially these two. We've been using them for everything. Holy crap, guys. Man, that was really hard. Jesus. And also, fetid bloat drones kill the fucking game. Kill your campaign! They kill your campaign! If you don't kill them things instantly. Crazy. Crazy tough, that. Christ, even with the Dreadnought. I don't like the Force Glaive. It, mm, I mean, it had some handy utility. Um, dicing up multiple Poxwalkers when they had the shield. To give them... You know, because it goes through the shield. But still, I just feel like... I feel like the Hazard Flamer is really crap. And compared to having an actual Underslung Flamer... And I also feel like I'd just rather have the, the stun from the normal hammer, the normal fist, you know? I feel like that'd just be better the vast majority of the time. Warning. The Whew. Yeah, everyone got pretty bad on that one. That was brutal. Yeah, so the Dreadnought, unfortunately, doesn't heal itself. It needs to get repaired in the uh, in the ship, which obviously knocks it out for quite a while. I mean, minus 10 HP on the Dreadnought's not that big of a deal. 22 HP is still amazing. It does reduce its armor a bit, though, which is kind of sad. But, yeah, this is really nice. The Dreadnought heals itself when it kills an enemy. I mean, that's beautiful. And plus one armor, naturally. Yeah, well, th those things help. I think you can still use the Dreadnought whilst it's damaged like this, actually. That's not too big of a deal. Um, this unit's nullify ability. Wait, hang on. Oh, I think that's if I... Wait, what? Nullify. Warp charge, nullify, activate to add purge. Oh, I do have that. I just have to activate it. But then it's too... It's using a lot of willpower then. It's using uh, four willpower. Okay, that's something to bear in mind. So I could have removed all the boons and shit by using the warp charged version of this. I completely forgot that that was a mechanic that I had. Um, just hold on a sec. What's the final thing you get for these? Silence lasts for one more turn and the autos get two chances. What's my auto that gives me more AP? When this unit spends willpower... Ah, it has a 60% chance to gain AP. Wow. Yeah, so getting that twice would be amazing. Cool. And the Vindy. This unit's spy mask afflicts an additional 25% crit vulnerability. Alright, that's not that good. Oh, that's good. Reduces the cooldown of Deadshot by three turns. And when this unit crits, yeah, that makes the bleed even better when you crit. Yeah, these are amazing. Great. Um, just imagine if this guy had the, the rifle that does 7 damage to humans instead of 4 as well. That would have been amazing. <clears throat> well, guys, that was absolutely brutal. But, hey, we stopped a lot of corruption from that. I mean, we were going to get 2 here, 2 here, 2 here, and like 3 here or something. Yeah, crazy. And now this place is calm again. Thank God. That was... That was terrifying, to be honest. I'm, I feel like I'm, I've am i been in a fight IRL right now. Um, so what we want to do next, we probably want to go over and quickly do these. These missions were easy. Just take an Aversa Assassin. How's he doing for healing? Yeah, he'll be healed. You take an Aversa Assassin, you take a Justicar, you take an Apothecary, and you take an Interceptor. Oh, both of my Interceptors are injured. I could take a, a Librarian as well. I think an Interceptor's kind of necessary though. They, one of them should be healed again. Um, and then that that's a pretty easy mission then. Along with Lunette. So we'll head over there, but that will be the end of the episode. We won't do any more. I mean, this has already, already been kind of crazy. That last mission just took so long. I've never even... Oh my god. Bonkers. That was super hard. Oh, we got an intervention. What? Prognosticars report emergence of multiple stellar warp surges across the sector. Coordinates have been updated on the... 
No, there was a, a change in the warp storm locations and all that shit. This will be relatively easy to deal with, I'm sure. But anyway, folks, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed watching me suffer. I'm going to grab even more requisitions. I've just realized we're going to have so many requisitions by the time this comes through. This Grandmaster Report is going to be beautiful. Definitely going to pick up the better sword here on my Aversa Assassin before we enter this next mission. But yeah. Thanks for tuning in, folks. I hope you enjoy my suffering, you sadistic twats. But we survived. We did it. We stopped that bloom from spreading. That is all from your boy Torpid this time. I am signing out and going to go have a bath with lots of bubbles. Praise Slaanesh. <laughs>